Good afternoon. Welcome to this week's Japan House Share. My name is Yang Du. I'm a fourth year doctoral student in educational psychology. I have been studying tea with Gunji Sensei since 2015. Today, I'm really honored to share the history of DQ with you. Sen DQ was born in 1522 in Sakai, which is now located in Osaka Prefecture. Sen Niku's childhood name was Yoshiro Tanaka. He started studying Chamayu, Japanese tea ceremony, at the age of 17. He also studied Zen Buddhism and received the Buddhist name Soeki from the Dinzai Zen sect. He started using Sen as his last name, taking after the last name of his grandfather. In 1579, at the age of 58, Sen Norikyu became a tea master for Oda Nobunaga, one of the world period samurai leaders. When Nobunaga died in 1582, Rikyu became a tea master for Toyotomi Hideyoshi, who succeeded Nobunaga. His relationship with Hideyoshi quickly deepened, and he entered the Hideyoshi circle of confidants effectively becoming the most influential figure in the world of Chanoyu, Japanese tea ceremony. In 1585, Emperor Ogimachi bestowed upon him the Buddhist lay name Rikyu Koji, so he could assist Hideyoshi with a tea gathering held at the Imperial Palace. Rikyu also played a central role in Hideyoshi's Grand Kitano tea ceremony held at Kitano Tenmanbu in 1587. Although Rikyu had been one of Hideyoshi's closest confidants, because of crucial opinion differences, the chasm in their relationship grew wider and wider. There has been some speculation on the reason for Rikyu's death. Other retainers' jealousy towards Rikyu Hideyoshi's desire to have Riku's daughter as a mistress, and Hideyoshi and Riku's disagreement on aesthetics are a few such speculations. Hideyoshi favored a golden tea room, while Riku preferred a much simple tea room. Regardless of the reason, eventually Hideyoshi ordered him to commit seppuku, a ritual suicide. And DQ carried it out on February 28, 1591, according to the old style calendar, leaving behind a death poem, addressing the dagger with which he took his own life. Welcome to thee, O sword of eternity, through Buddha and through the Ruma alike. Thou hast cleft thy way. In memory of Senno Rikyu, nowadays, the Omotesenke Tea School hold their memorial service on March 27, while the schools of Urasenke and Mushano Kochi Senke hold it on March 28. Rikyuki honors Senno Rikyu as the father of several of the schools of tea but there were several contributors in the development of wabi tea. Wabi tea is a Japanese tea ceremony style which emphasizes simplicity. Three main figures are believed to have greatly contributed to the involvement of wabi tea. The forerunner, Murata Shuko, Senno Rikyu's teacher, Takeno Jo, and Senno Rikyu. In the late years of the Muromachi period, the Japanese tea ceremony still tended to use expensive wares from China. Murata Shuko started to advocate for extensive use of local Japanese utensils and appreciating simpler aesthetic styles. 
His pursuit of a simpler tea ceremony is manifested in his poems. For instance, Tsukimo, Kumoma no Naki wa Iyamite Soro, which means that the moon is at its best when partly hidden by clouds, suggesting the beauty of humility and restraint. Later, Takeno Jo pushed the Wabi Tea movement even further. He advocated that people should be content with whatever they have. His ideal Wabi Tea can be described by his favorite poem by Fujiwara no Teka. Miwa taseba, hana mo mo michi mo nakari keri, ura no tomaya no aki no yukure. This poem means that, as far as the eye can see, no cherry blossom, nor maple leaves, a small thatched hut by an inlet, the autumn evening. The simple scene, unadorned with vibrant imagery, and the serene environment represents Joel's ideal atmosphere for Wabi tea. However, it was Senno Riku who significantly popularized Wabi tea and the aesthetic style of simplicity and minimalism. According to Senno Riku, tea is nothing but this. First, you heat the water, then you make the tea, then you drink it properly. That is all you need to know. Following his pursuit of simplicity, he developed a style of tea room, or soan, that was rustic, small, and no more than four and a half tatami. In addition, he also developed a tea garden, or chaniwa, and a unique crawling in entrance called nijirikuchi. His other innovations include bamboo flower vases, Daku tea bowls, known for their rustic simplicity, and a simple format of kaiseki, a frugal meal served during a tea ceremony. Senriku's ultimate goal of wabi tea can be seen from one of the favorite poems. Hana o no mi, matsura hito ni, yamazato no, yukima no kusa no, haru o misebaya which means, to those who long for the flowers of spring, show the young blades of grass that push up among the snowy hills. Even though his life was cut short, his idea of Wabi tea has lived on after his death. And he is now considered the greatest tea master in the history of Japanese tea. In memory of Senno Rikyu's dedication to tea ceremony, his advocacy for simple aesthetics, and his fearlessness in the face of power, we as tea students hold Rikyu Ki every year to show reverence to Senno Rikyu.